Hey, hey, hey. I love movies. I love all kinds of different movies. You know, whether it is a mindless action thriller or a silly, pointless comedy or a beautiful, slow burning character piece. I love movies. Now, many of the movies I love are great. Casablanca, Fight Club, Leon. Well, many of the movies that I love are terrible. Killer Tomatoes, Toxic Avenger. Yeah, it happens. Most of the movies, though, fall somewhere in between. Now, we can always debate the merits of a film. But you can't debate whether someone likes a movie or whether they should or shouldn't. No. You can't attack someone for hating a movie that you like or liking a movie that you hate. Just, unless you're buddies, then shit talk always applies. Speed Racer. It is not a good movie. But I love the movie. I adore it. I watch it regularly. I am a huge fan. I also strongly dislike the Godfather movies. Sorry. I'm not going to pretend Speed Racer is brilliantly made. Nor am I going to pretend that Godfather isn't a masterpiece. But we like what we like. I watched a movie somewhat recently for the upteenth time. It's Gone Baby Gone. It's directed by Ben Affleck and it stars his little brother who has an Oscar now for an Amazon movie. Pretty good movie though. And Michelle Monaghan who is She's as talented as she is beautiful, and you really got to check her out in uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, stars uh, Robert Downey Jr. and has Val Kilmer in it. Great movie. Now, it is a great cast, and first-time director Ben Affleck does an amazing job, but this is not a review for the movie. Although, you really should watch it. It's got Morgan Freeman in it. And Amy Ryan from The Wire and The Office. And she kills in this movie. I mean, ugh. I really fucking love this movie. But this is not a movie review. No, the reason... I mention this movie is because it has a very real philosophical question. I'm not going to spoil the movie. Watch it. But there is a part where a very difficult decision has to be made. And this has stuck with me for many years. I think of it as good versus right now I know what you're thinking um, doing the right thing is good well that's not necessarily always true now it is wrong to lie we can all agree to that but is it always bad to lie mm. So, let's say a crazy person covered in blood, carrying the severed head of your next door neighbor, comes up to you and asks you, Are you God? Well, I don't know about you, but I learned from the Ghostbusters. Lie, Ray, lie. <laughs> now, 
equally, I have to admit that sometimes doing the right thing hurts yourself. We all know that. We can all accept that. Sometimes doing the right thing can hurt innocent people. <clears throat> now, I spent nine years in Alcoholics Anonymous. I know it's supposed to be anonymous. But I did get my 10-year chip. Well, it's the eighth step. No, wait. Eighth step is take an inventory of all the people you've hurt with your drinking. And the ninth step is make amends for the damage that you've caused. Unless making amends will hurt others. See, Alcoholics Anonymous feels that it would be selfish to hurt other people when you're making amends. You can't put your guilty conscience above innocent people. Alright, so let's dig a little bit deeper into that. Not the uh, AA thing. Although, it works if you work it. You're worth it, so work it. Now, let's say you committed some crimes in a business that you co-own, right? Now, your crimes are linked to your business. The right thing to do is to report yourself, right? Make amends. Pay for what you've done wrong. But then, your business partner, who's completely innocent, he can end up bankrupt. And his kids, they will be suffering. Well, it is the right thing to do. But man, it damn sure isn't the good thing to do. All right, let's look at Les Miserables. Not the musical. Although, the uh, film adaptation, you gotta love that they actually sang the songs live on set. That took some balls. People wanted to uh, bitch and moan, well, they don't sound as good as they do in Chicago. You know what? In Chicago, they were in a, in a sound studio singing and tweaking everything. On Les Miserables, they were literally singing on set. Gotta say, that was pretty ballsy. But no, I'm talking about the novel or the movie. I love Les Miserables. Actually, I have a tattoo from the novel. It's right there. Now, I guess I could probably make a video. I could probably make 12 videos about just the story of Les Miserables and explain my tattoo. But let's get to the point, okay? Jean Valjean. He's mayor. He's a good man. Everyone loves him. He's also a criminal in hiding. He does the right thing. And the stupid thing. He goes and presents himself in court so that some worthless drunk doesn't get convicted for being 
Jean Valjean. It's the right thing to do. I can respect that. And then, police are going to arrest him, but he's like, look, I'll turn myself in, but I got to go make sure this little girl cassette is taken care of. That's not the right thing. That's the good thing. So, he goes and he gets her. First, he knocks out the sheriff. Then he goes and he gets her, and then he takes her to a school, and she's taken care of. Now, the right thing is to turn yourself in. And at that point, it's not a bad thing. He selfishly doesn't turn himself in because he says that Cassette needs him and she loves him and it would hurt her maybe now fast forward decades and Javert the police officer his life is saved by Jean Valjean So finally, he's caught him. He's got the cuffs on him. Yep. He's done the right thing and arrested the criminal. That saved his life. That is a good man. That treats everyone well. It's a bad thing to arrest this man, but it's the right thing. Now, Javert is very rigid. He sees the world in black and white. He sees the world in right and wrong. We go into why he thinks that way and his mother and why Javert is a hero in so many ways. But he can't do something that bad, even though it's right. But he is incapable of doing wrong. So, he checks out. I really love Les Miserables. I hear something. Oh, that's the sound of wrap it up. So let's wrap up my drunken video. Although it is a drunken video about philosophy. So, woo woo for me. Now, the message of the video, it would be pretty obvious to say, be wary of being overly critical of the difficult decisions people make, or attacking someone for what they like or don't like. Yeah, but you already knew that. And to be honest, hearing that from a failure like me, I mean, I failed in every aspect of life you could ever fail at. So who the fuck am I to preach about, oh, this is how you should treat people? I don't know if that would be more humorous or hypocritical. I just know, yeah, that's not what I want to do at the moment. What I really hope you're able to take away from this ideal, and yes, I said ideal, 
not idea. They're actually two different words. People use them interchangeably, but one ends with an L and one doesn't. They're completely different words with completely different meanings. Sorry. Look. Fuck a bunch of telling you how to interact with other people. I stay locked alone in a room in the desert. When you have to face a difficult decision, means every answer possible is going to suck to some level, right? So, is this decision good or bad? Is this decision right or wrong? Which decision do I make? You know what? Sometimes it can't be right or good. Sometimes you have to cho choose right or wrong versus good or bad. I can't tell you how to pick. In my experience, it's generally one of those two options, right or good. But I'm only basing that on making the wrong decision oh so many times. Thank you so very much for listening to me ramble. Makes me very humbled, very happy. I know I'm long-winded. So if you made it this far, I hope you have a great day. And I really hope you don't beat yourself up too much. I mean, the rest of the world is lining up to kick your ass. Alright? So don't take it out on yourself. So much. I really hope I could give you a smile and a chuckle. And I got a thing for alliteration, so live, love, and fail, and learn from the failure. Live, love, and learn. Have a great day.